Yo, uh, back again. I've just uh, just come in from a little bit of lunch. I was uh, a bit hungry, so I ducked away. But uh, yeah, we're gonna end up with an awesome. I just turn this sucker around. We're gonna end up with an awesome bucket. Uh, we're gonna end up with an awesome ensuite. I just put this sucker on my head. So, what do you reckon we get started? I've got to uh, seal the walls. I want to get a. I'm going to be waterproofing all the floor as well. <clears throat> but I want to get a coat of sealer on the shower walls so I can get a coat of waterproof <coughs> on and have it dry before I go home tonight. So time is of the essence. But it's all cool. So, a little bit about myself. I've been doing this for 35 years. I'm nearly 66 years old and I absolutely love it. I feel very privileged to be able to teach all you people out there. It's, uh, it's quite a buzz. I'm not used to the, uh, to the amount of people that I can actually show and teach. It's uh, a new thing for me. I've taught apprentices and and other people in the past how to do it. And to be able to teach more people all over the world, that's a fair um, like scope of teaching. You always must always prime your walls before you tile. It gets rid of dust, it gets rid of like on your floors. Um, you know, if you're, if you're dirty and dusty and a little bit greasy and stuff like that. You must prime everything first. That's a big key to tiling. Your glue is only as good as what it's sticking to. I've got the fan going. I don't usually work with a fan because it dries everything too fast. But in this case, this needs to dry so I can get my waterproof happening. But then I won't have the fan on when I'm doing the waterproof because it's more or less dry as it's coming off the roller, which is no good. So we'll quickly roll this in and not splash it everywhere.
<coughs> this is all going to be one level that aluminium won't be seen the tiles are coming up to it and that's where the screen goes it's a semi-frameless it's called a semi-frameless shower screen Beautiful, absolute beautiful. I'll um, get my waterproof on in the shower so it can be drying because I want to do two coats today. Turn off my camera until uh, I come back. I've got to go out to my van and get the waterproof. Yo, let's hit this awesome bathroom. Let's put on this. Okay, we're right here. Okay, let's zap some. Uh, well, some gloves on first. Let's pop some gloves on first. It's actually not bad, this waterproof, but you still don't get it all over your hands. Comes off easy, but... that no biggie overall my joins I do like to um, to use the brush it gets it in there doing the walls hasn't been in that long in Australia It was always just the um, uh, shower floor and you waterproof it like 200 mil up and just the base leave the walls but as more and more showers leak well then the new rule comes in and uh, let's do the walls as well you know here I mean, this has always been, uh, you know, you had to do it, the internal corner.
tomorrow I'll be laying the floor so I'll be <coughs> bedding it and tiling it at the same time It's all pretty simple. You just um, like waterproofing properly. It's not rocket science, but a lot of people don't do it. They just think that uh, she'll be right, mate. But actually. If it's not done properly, water can be a bloody nuisance actually. I might turn off that fan because it's uh, it's drying drying me out too quick I'll turn it back on in a minute. Hmm. I hope you're um, seeing everything. You guys. But like I was saying, it's uh, it's not hard to do. You just got to make sure that you don't leave any stone unturned when it comes to waterproofing, and always concentrate on what you're doing. It's not like painting and you're worrying about brush marks and all that. Nah. You slap it on, smooth it out roughly. Bob's your uncle.
Oh, oh, cousin. Yeah, see how it's drying already? Cool. I like it. There's a little dog. The doorbell. They've got a little four-legged doorbell. <laughs> it always lets you know when someone's at the door. That's for sure. With its little woof, 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 woof. So I'll be doing the same in this bathroom that the tile will go up under the cornice slip slop slap I didn't want to put cement sheet on on this because it but if you put cement sheet there and then your tile and oh it, it makes your shelf not very wide you want a little bit of width for things to sit on But it'll be fine when it's all waterproofed. Won't be going anywhere. But yeah, it doesn't have to look pretty. As in no brush marks, no, don't worry about that. Just slap it on. Get it on. Cool, cool, cool. Nice one. I don't have to be too fancy down there. on the outside of the shower so it's cool
I do like this meshing reinforcement because if I don't see it all nice and smooth and I see holes in it well then I know of um, I haven't got enough waterproof there I do always like to brush the shower base How's that? We make a good team. That's for the girls, so they can shave their legs. It's going to be the same distance. The screen will be going up there, so it's equal distance. You DIYers, if you make a nice niche in your shower for your lady and another foot niche she'll love you because then she'll know that you're thinking of her And that helps to build a successful marriage, guys. Hoppa. And girls. If your man has done a niche and a foot shelf for you, well then you know he cares for you. Now, do we make an awesome team or what?
I like the, uh, the oh, well the waterproof that I'm using it comes in two colors gray and green and I green is my favorite color but I could only get gray the other day so gray it is Oh, I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Pop that there. Beautiful. So guys and gals, this is your bathroom being waterproofed first coat. I like to do three coats in the shower but the third coat the third coat I should say is mainly the slurry for my mud the next day but it's sort of um, just as uh, well a safety net if there's any pinholes or anything like that with the third coat I've got it covered Cool, 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 yeah. So, what do you think, everyone? I'll go, um, I'll go about twelve hundred high. on the wall around here so I'm a bit above the vanity I don't have to but these days I sort of I do you know I don't have to do over there I don't have to I mean you know I don't have to waterproof over there as long as I'm up 200 mil so that you know like there but huh, it costs stuff all for waterproof and it doesn't take very long so it's all pretty easy to do
it's just that extra little bit that you do for people so I'll just uh, pull these bugs off I'll see you soon